Hey guys, can you come to the front and drop off any phones or anything before we get started? Yeah. Hiya. Thanks so much for, for joining us. A um, big thank you to Grace for her time on a busy afternoon as well. So there's no embargo for this um, media conference, so we're good to good to go from the off. And we'll begin with Anton from Sky Sports News, please. Hey, Grace, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, I suppose, what are we, just over a month on from your, from your England, de England debut. What a debut. Um, have you kind of felt like life outside of the football bubbles changed a lot since then? Um, no, not particularly, you know, obviously on camp it was amazing, um, amazing group of girls to share that moment with, but since returning it's just been game after game, head down and enjoy me football. Talking about a couple of very big games now for England, we're talking about sort of your first taste of, you know, competitive, proper competitive football for England, how's that feel? Yeah, definitely, you know, um, it was nice in my first couple of camps to experience that then as well, because obviously... Um, it was highly competitive, you know, we had, it, it was fighting for a lot then and um, yeah, that was good. So now to go into it again and get back into these games, it's, it's what you want to be doing. So it's fun. Competitive is probably the right word for it, isn't it? Considering midfield, I suppose, been one of those positions for England where they haven't been as deep as other positions traditionally. And now all of a sudden you're, you're in the squad, you've got Jess Park playing so well, Fran's back. How does that competitiveness translate out onto the training pitch? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at the whole squad, it's unbelievable depth. Um, you know, it's an amazing squad, so it's it's unbelievable because you get out on the pitch and the standards are so high and we all drive each other. So, yeah, we're lucky to have such an amazing squad, to be honest. Talk about the the, the, the quality of the squad. It's England's first training session back there with Leah back out there for almost a year. Does it feel different when she's back? Yeah, definitely. You know, it was... My my first camp with Leah back in and um, yeah it's you know she's one of the best in the sport isn't she so it's it's amazing to have her back and um, obviously she's getting integrated slowly and we're only a couple of days in so it'll be really nice to get her back with the team on the pitch. Thank you. Hey Grace, how you doing? Good, um, thank you. In terms of this qualification group, it's been described as a, a group of death. When it was first drawn out, what was your initial reaction and what's been the discussion of the rest of the squad with who you'll be facing over the next few months? Yeah, definitely, you know, it was drawn right after the last camp, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really competitive group, but that's always going to happen when you're in such a, an amazing tournament, you know, so... Um, I think we're all just really excited to get started, to be honest, and hit the ground running. How confident can England fans be that you'll get a, a top two finish and an automatic qualification spot? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously it is a competitive group, but that's always what we're aiming for. You know, we're a team that wants to win and um, the quality that we have, the, there shouldn't be nothing less than that. The one game in particular that you've got marked on your calendar? Mm, obviously playing at Wembley is... It's just the best, isn't it? So, you know, everyone wants to do that. I was going to ask you about that, the prospect of walking out at Wembley. What would that mean to you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every England fan, no matter who you are, like the thought of that is is a dream. So everyone wants to do it and it would be an unbelievable feeling. Have you got many friends and family coming? Always, always <laughs> supporting me. I'm very lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll go to Tom at the Telegraph. Hi Grace, really nice to see you. Um, can I just try and get a sense of how it, how it feel, how different it feels now to be in in the squad with caps under your belt than before the first cap? Like what what different feelings does that bring up inside you when you're going out there on the training pitch now that you've got senior caps? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it brings so much more confidence. You know, um, the lead up to to getting your first cap, you're always going to be very nervous and. Now that you've been out with the girls on the pitch and, and really, you know, gone in the deep end, it just feels a lot more natural. And when you're in training and stuff, you just have more confidence to express yourself more and more each time. Have you been made to do some sort of uh, initiation song or singing? Can you tell us about that? <laughs> no, luckily enough, I haven't. So don't be hinting. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, it's only live. <laughs> in terms of uh, Sweden, kind of, can you talk a little bit, please, about the threats you're expecting them to pose? And, and maybe have you had a chance to get some 
some insight um, for, from in your club perspective with, with Tottenham with those who will be there and who know the Sweden team quite well? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, they're another team that has amazing depth and um, they're a really strong side. Um, you know, they're very physical, um, quite direct, score goals. So, you know, we're going to have to be on top form if we want to get a result against the team like that. And obviously, yeah, the, um, the two girls in my team, you know, lovely girls, great players. So it'd be nice to see them again, but obviously want to beat them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, we'll begin with Rich at the front. Hi, Grace. A um, few of us spoke to Aggie Beaver-Jones earlier, and she was talking about the, the experience of obviously going out on loan last season in the WSL, how that's propelled her on this year. I mean, it might sound like an obvious question because obviously you're doing so well, but how much is that helping you now, you know, playing regularly in the WSL and, and taking that opportunity you've been given to go out on loan and play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially um, for youngsters in the WSL, you know, it's such a competitive league. I think it's something that could be utilised more for youngsters because, yeah, for me, I've had two loan spells now and I think without them I wouldn't be nowhere near where I am right now, football-wise, and to, there's nothing better than getting that experience of minutes. So it's definitely something that can be utilised more and it's, it's worked so well for me. As a young player, like all the different environments you've been in, whether that's at Tottenham this season, the time you've been with Man, Man United, or, or now with the England senior team, in your position, all, all those experienced forward players that you've got, just how much are you, like what do you try and take in when, when you're around them in terms of how you can learn and develop on and off the field? Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been around ultimate professionals and I think learning from them on the pitch, just soaking up all the information and and just trying to compete with them as much as you can is just um, in training, in games, listening. Um, you can you can never not learn, you know. So I'm always learning from them and getting better. Thanks, Grace. Thank you. Where's Sophie? Hey, Grace. Um, I was just going to ask about your kind of favourite position in midfield because I know Robert at club, he plays you out on the left and you sometimes come into the number 10. He, he's certainly told us in, in press conferences that that's where he sees you eventually. But then when you had your debut last month, you were a bit maybe a bit deeper like an, as an eight. So wh where do you see your kind of strengths? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, at the start of the season, Robert integrated me onto the wing, I think, just to sort of give me a bit more freedom to get on the ball. As, and as I've gained more experience, he trusts me more in midfield, um, which is nice. I think I'm most confident in midfield, you know, and in that 10-8 role, it's, it's really nice because I'm a player that just wants to get on the ball. And then if I don't get on the ball, I'd say I'm quite an aggressive player to try and win it back. So being on the ball in midfield where you can do most of the harm is where I want to be. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. I think we'll go to Kit from The Times. Hi, Grace. Can I just go back to when you're talking about your loan spells and talk more about maybe kind of how they've developed you as a person and away from the pitch? Because obviously you've had to move around the country and get used to a lot of different environments. Yeah, how's that kind of changed you as a person? Yeah, I mean, moving away from home obviously makes you grow up. Um, so for me, it's, it's made me mature so much. And obviously you mature off the pitch, you mature on the pitch. So yeah, definitely it's, I, I've loved everywhere I went. I love when I went to Bristol, I love when I went to London. So yeah, going away from home has really helped me. Are you, are you someone that's like naturally li likes like a bit of a home board, likes being at home, or do you like kind of travelling around and seeing seeing other places? No, I'm a bit of an of adventurer, to be honest. I get bored quite easily. <laughs> so I like going out for coffee, adventuring. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a home bird. <laughs> nice one. Um, and obviously, the from a personal perspective, the camp in Spain went, went really, really well for you. Have you had to maybe almost realign just how much you can achieve and how quickly you can achieve it after obviously how well that went. Yeah, definitely, you know, it was a it was a crazy camp and it was, you know, so many things happening at once. So to go back to club and just get right back into the swing of things, you know, we had a big game straight after camp. So for me it's sort of just living away from home, taking every game as it comes and just not getting caught up in that side of it because I think I'll go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Skip. 
Grace, um, we spoke to, to Emma Coates earlier on and she was saying, you know, she's watched your career and, and your progression and it's been amazing. And she said, you're at your best when you're you're confident. How, how sky high are, are your confident levels right now? Yeah, definitely. I know, obviously, confidence for me comes from the manager and, you know, Robert and Sina have both given me so much of that. Um, so this season I've just been filled with confidence and I think she's spot on um, on the pitch. I think you can see that. Um, freedom and confidence from them and to allow me to go and express myself is so important and I feel like they've they've given me that opportunity. Yeah and we spoke to some of the players as well some of the under 23s and they said sort of coming into the the first team set up and you see the senior players it can be a bit overwhelming and you can almost get a little bit overawed but I suppose when you you go into the starting 11 you have to sort of back yourself and is that a trait that, that you think has, has really helped you over the last couple of months? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's only normal for you to have doubts every now and then. Like, that, that's normal. Um, so, you know, being nervous and getting butterflies, I think you've sort of got to appreciate that because, you know, you're saying, you know, it's humble. But I think you've got to have confidence to, to back yourself to go out there and play because you're there for a reason. And, yeah, I think when the girls did come up, you wouldn't have even known they were overwhelmed. They were, they were amazing in training and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah, we'll go to Tyler. Hi, Grace. Um, you spoke a bit about the experience um, of the team, and I was just wondering if there were any players that you were kind of learning from, particularly on this in this camp. Um, yeah, obviously I'm all, like I'm playing with the the best players in England, like you know your Kiras, your Lucy's. So yeah, I'm, all of them are unbelievable players, to be honest. And every camp, the tempo is so high. I'm just learning so much. So. Yeah, definitely. If there aren't any more questions, we'll end there. Thanks ever so much for your time, Thank Grace. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.